I want to talk about Star Wars and how that relates to brands. Well, this will be difficult. Um, today is December 22nd, and this is, of course, the video log that takes 30,000 to a million. After I go through the account and show you what's going on and what has happened on Friday, I want to talk about Star Wars and how that relates to brands and what my opinion is of brands and what I'm going to be looking for in brands and companies in the near future here. And um, it's just something to consider, some food for thought, some thoughts that came up and uh, while I was watching the movie, I'm not going to give anything away, but uh, I will talk a little bit about it and uh, my impressions. So first, before I talk about that, let's just go quickly in the account and show you what's going on. A lot of the options um, contracts have executed. So I have an insane amount of chemical right now. <laughs> it's just because it's so low of all of the put options contract contracts executed. So I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. Chemical, I now have 1,500 shares. Um, that's a lot. 1,500 shares, a lot. Thirteen thousand dollars, and I still have more contracts here that still need to uh, still running. And now I'm going to be looking to sell some call options against them because that's just an insane amount to have in in this company. Even if I like it, um, it, it has been going down pretty dramatically. So we might be looking at a new range. You know, between maybe eight and a half or eight to nine or to nine and a half something like that so I'm gonna have to take that into consideration unless there's a sharp reversal for some reason it looks like the range is gonna be dropping uh, which is alright just, just gonna have to operate at a lower level and um, forego a little bit of profits and valuation and so forth but it's alright so alright next is let's see what's happened Apple dropped by $81 uh, not too big a deal here. Options, of course, plus 32 because I have a call option against 100 of those shares. And uh, we're going to be talking about Apple in a little bit. And then uh, that's about it. I mean, nothing much, too much happened. Uh, Wheaton Precious Metals down 29, I guess, kind of a big drop here. Um, we're going to be looking at a short temporary silver topping out. Who knows? Although the, the call contracts, I only have six now. I cashed out of one of them because I just thought it was too much. So uh, plus $48 there from the silver options. Six contracts there, quite a bit. And that's it. That's the account. So I want to talk about the movie a little bit, right? So Star Wars, first of all, you, you guys should see it, especially if you like science fiction, Star Wars, etc. If you're, I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it and so I was thinking about what made this movie good to me and I came up with some adjectives right I mean for one it was very simple I mean it didn't delve into the story to uh, into the details of the story too much kind of briefly glossed over the story I mean it wasn't very in-depth like no, no one's gonna win an Oscar or anything like that for acting from this movie but it didn't need it, right? It needed to be a little bit more surface-like because um, I just think it's more relatable. Like if you briefly, briefly kind of mention the the storyline and be like, oh, we need to save this and this person. Let's go save them. Boom, 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 you know? It's not that complicated of a story. It's very easy to understand. And I think that's point number one, right? Number two, it was just visually stunning. I really love the visuals, like the pictures that are painted the videography it was great um, just like in some of the other more recent films yeah, it reminds me of a well-made like Marvel movie or something like that um, so I really like the visuals they probably be even better and I think that's what Star Wars is kind of to me anyway it's one of the trademarks of Star Wars it has great visuals and great fashion right some of the outfits are great and, and some of the designs and um, <clears throat> You know, the inspirations behind the designs come from different real world like designers and and so forth. And uh, I thought that was really impressive. Like Star Wars has really been big on the visuals. I think that's what really makes it a great 
uh, movie to watch, right? Watching visuals. <laughs> so, I mean, there's just this, I'm not going to give anything away, but it's just water scene that was just incredible, I thought. And um, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see the movie, if you haven't seen it already. And also, um, so it's simple, as you understand. The other thing is like, it tends to bring out a lot of emotion. So a lot of the things that are mentioned in the movie, things that they act over, they mention over, they're very relatable to an everyday person's life. They touch on a lot of tragedies, a lot of struggles that, you know, perhaps you or I have had, and we relate to it at different stages. So it's very impactful, right? So the movie is impactful and relatable, and uh, it's easy to understand, it's simple, it's visually stunning. Okay, so, and all these things I thought about, and I figured out, wow, I mean, to relate it to investing, that's what makes a good brand. Like, that's where the value of the brand comes from. Right. So, for example, you could take all these attributes and put it onto something like the Apple phone. OK, I mean, it's simple to understand. Right. It's it's impactful. It brings out emotion. You know, the, the it's you know, these camera eyes are piercing and um, you know, the gold means different things to each person to call all the different colors can, can bring out something else, some, some kind of emotion from each person. And, you know, the buttons are part of the design here. They don't, they're not seen anywhere. It's hard to see. Like if you turn at the front, you know, they're, they got rid of the notch that'd be even better on the camera because it makes it even more simple, right? It's simple and it's impactful. The whole thing just looks like a jewel. You know, that's the first thing that my mom, when I showed my phone to my mom, that's what she said. It just looks like a big jewel. Like it's it's like some kind of expensive, like golden thing, you know, that's uh, like a, a fashionable piece. And I mean, and the weight and everything else is just, it's good to the touch. Like the, the, the glass on the back, it feels good, you know, materially, like it's, it's very um, pleasing to the touch. And they even got rid of the Apple uh signs here there's no letters anywhere on the phone no no writing or anything like that to confuse you it, you know it just looks like a, um it's a little bit it's kind of almost a throwback to the ios where you know when you see just the icon and you can't you don't even read the text underneath the icon because the icon is just so important in the um operating system that in the iphone operating system so that's one brand but i did some more you know and um, look at this, you know, my other favorite brand is, as you may know, like, uh, Austin Martin, like I want to Austin at some point in my life. And I mean, the whole thing, you know, it stands out. It's beautiful. Of course it's, uh, and, and it, it's kind of relatable. I mean, the whole thing just looks like a shark. A lot of people like sharks. Just take a look at this car, right? I mean, it's easy to understand, right? You have the, the seats and the wheels and whatever, and the lights but it kind of reminds me of shark. look this this looks like gills over here right is the gills these rims look like shark teeth to me you know those t type of shark teeth that you find on the beach in Florida right this looks like a big open jaw and the eyes just look like they're gonna blink upwards right and they're just gonna roll upwards and you see the white in the eyes of the shark um, I mean it's very reminiscent to me it looks like a shark so but it's a familiar form. Some of the some of the elements, you know, they give a throwback, but it's very emotional. You know, it's very it's sleek and and you can say it's simple. I know it's a little more complicated than the Apple phone, but it's it's still got great design, and um, I really like it. Here's another another um, example of what I'm talking about here, and it's the Coca Cola logo, right? I mean, everybody knows it. it brings out maybe memories as a, as a kid. It brings out memories of like Christmas, Santa Claus, like happiness, everybody having a party, enjoying time, you know, together. And the red and whites, of course, very classic and impactful. Um, it's visually pleasing, you know, the color combinations and everything. And I think they do a good job with the advertisements as well. Um, I, th I thought I think it's a great job. And I have another example for you over here, of course, the Rolly. <laughs> right the Rolex 
um, they're relating it to things all the time, you know, submariner, right? Submarines, this and that. Uh, date. Everything's very simple to understand. There's no extra gadgets. You know, the, the dots and geometric shapes here are big, easy to understand. Um, there's only one notch here. They're not overcomplicated with a bunch of things that... And that's the thing. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be the latest and greatest technology, okay? It just needs to be understandable. Like I think that's where that's why I personally don't use like the Samsung or the Android um, operating system is because although they might be they might have more features whatever it's just not as relatable not as understandable not as elegant not as pleasing to look at although nowadays they're they're making it a little bit more pleasing to look at and elegant but uh, the visuals aren't really there it's just a bunch of functionality but like. The Rolex doesn't have that much functionality. It's just an automatic watch. It shows the date and the time. That's it, you know? Everything else is just familiarity, emotion, you know, design, the color. Like, this is, you know, the Hulk. That's what they call it or whatever, the Submariner date, right? But, I mean, it's it's very, you know, it's relatable. Like, and, and you know the brand, you have maybe memories associated with it, maybe you've seen it on someone, maybe someone's told you about some, about it, and so forth. So, I mean, all these brands have the same type of kick to me that the movie did. Let me actually go back here to um, Robin Hood. And I've, I've talked about Robin Hood's design too, and I think that's why it's gonna have some staying power because the app is very clean you know it's simple it's not overly bogged down it doesn't have the best functionality that let's say some of the other plot f platforms have it's not interactive brokers or anything like that but it does have you know that elegance you have that simplicity it has that ease of understanding and appeal and it, it tugs at you emotionally you know you get familiar with the color scheme and the app feels good in your hand and your phone um, it's easy to browse around Everything is very simple. You can you can see it. You can recognize it quickly, you know. Um, and and again, you know, none of them are going to win an award for the best, you know, most elegant piece of uh, I don't know machinery or design ever. But it's it's what I think connects with people, connects with the most people, including me, right? So. I'm going to start thinking about that stuff when I'm considering companies to buy and things to invest on from now on in order to determine part of the staying power of the company, like along with their balance sheets and everything else like that. These intangibles, I think, are growing in importance for sure. So anyway, I just want to share that. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, just do it. I, I enjoyed it a lot. It's kind of long, but... Um, the visuals really kept me into it and um, the story although a bit confusing like it's got twists and turns but they're not the type that would completely catch you off guard you know you kind of see a lot of it coming um, if you're a big story buff like if you followed the Star Wars saga quite a bit I think you're gonna be quite pleased you've probably already seen the movie so um, but I think you're going to be quite pleased with the way things uh, turn out in the storyline and how it it kind of, you know, it comes to an end and um, all the explanations. they I think they really tie a lot of knots in the storyline. So um, it's going to be pretty satisfying for you if you're a Star, for, a Star Wars um, fan and, and like the, the story. All right. I think that's about it for right now. I thought it'd be interesting to kind of relate the movie to the brands. Um probably gonna make another video maybe tomorrow or the next or the next day and also I want to kind of continue and do finish my series about the beginners you know introduction uh, guide to investing for like real beginners so I'm gonna make a few more videos of that so hopefully uh, now that I have a little more time during the um, off season <laughs> or if you want to say during the holidays I'm planning on producing some more videos all right I think that's it for this episode uh, I'll talk to you later Peace out.